What is going on guys? George with another video and yes, you read the title correctly. We are going to be finally upgrading the radio head unit on our 2018 Jeep Wrangler. This is something that my wife has definitely been looking forward to. And ever since we installed the Stinger Offered radio on my Toyota Tacoma, she was like, George, we need to get one for the Jeep Wrangler. Now, if you guys didn't know, I am running this exact head unit on the Toyota Tacoma. If you guys haven't watched that video and you're watching this video and you do have a Toyota Tacoma, go check it out because that probably applies to you. And if you want to get one, it's pretty much going to tell you exactly what you need to install it. And the reason why I say that is because for the Toyota Tacoma, there isn't an exact kit yet. I was able to talk to them through Instagram and through emails and kind of figure something out to make it work. And believe me, these guys had everything I needed to make it work. Now it wasn't plug and play, it was a little more tedious and it took us a little longer to install it, but everything turned out great once it was installed. So if you guys wanna check out that video, I'll be linking it down below for the Toyota Tacoma owners that are watching this. All you really have to do is go down below in the description basically just buy everything on that list and you can go home and install it yourself. Now this one, on the other hand, this one is completely plug and play, which is definitely gonna make my life easier. Um, I know there's already a detailed install video that Stinger Offroad has on their YouTube channel, but I really wanted to see, hey, did they make it look easy or is it really easy to install? So I wanted to just make my own install video, just kind of show you guys a detailed install show you the do's and don'ts and hopefully this video helps you guys now as always i mean i always reach out and tell these guys hey hopefully we can get a promo code going not for me to make profits but to hopefully give you guys a discount sure enough they said hey use bus to be george you get 10 percent off and uh yeah hopefully uh hopefully we can get this installed in about an hour two hours i don't know but enough said let's get into this video so first we're going to start by grabbing our display flipping it over and i did put a small microfiber towel, that way nothing gets scratched. We're gonna grab the black back portion of the bezel. I'm gonna flip it around so you guys get an idea of what it's gonna look like once it's done. Basically it sits on the dash just like so. And uh, we're just gonna place it down. We're gonna grab the hardware provided, which are gonna be these black screws. We're gonna line it up with all the four holes and secure it in place. So this next step is pretty much crucial because if you over tighten these bolts or if you go all the way in, once you have your brackets in place, they're not gonna go in. So we're gonna be grabbing these, these small uh, screws. We're gonna be putting them through the side here and basically just going in enough so you can see them creep out on the other side of the plastic. Let me give you guys a closer shot. So just the visual demonstration here. The bolt is through, basically grab the plastic, but it's not going past this little border here. That when we grab our plate, which would be this one, it sits and it's still able to grab without actually moving anything around. Now all we're gonna do is grab the Singer Off-Road Radio, I guess it's called the Brain, and uh, we're gonna grab the bracket. Keep in mind, right here it does say front, which means that's gonna face the front portion of the radio. So now all we're gonna do is grab the brackets that look like this. We're gonna place it right on the side and put the hardware provided, baby. And you know what's crazy? Is that usually you watch the videos of these installs on YouTube or maybe just read the instructions and it always just ends up difficult or not like the video shows but this particular install here man it's basically step by step 
making it really easy to install. Now we're gonna just flip it around, put the other bracket in place. So big shout out to you guys, Stinger Offred, for making this install extremely easy, so far at least. <laughs> Now that we're inside, we're gonna start by simply removing this small little trim here that controls the windows. We're gonna grab our pry tool and just kind of work our way in, just like that. It's gonna pop out. Now inside you will have a small little red tab. I'm not sure if you guys can see it right there. We're just simply gonna push it up and that's gonna allow us to remove this whole entire panel here. Now in our case this area does look a little different and it might look a little different once we install the radio just because I'm not sure if this vector off-road uh, accessory mount is even going to work with this radio. If it doesn't no big deal we'll remove this. I really want to upgrade the head unit on this bad boy and uh, if you don't have this you will find a small uh, rubber pad here. You're going to remove that and there will be a small seven millimeter bolt here that you do have to remove. In our case the bolt's still there, so all we have to do is remove it. Just like this. Boom, right there. Put these aside, don't lose them. So for now, I guess we are gonna have to be removing this whole entire panel, uh, which pretty much holds the radio in place. Uh, we are gonna have to remove this Vector off-road phone accessory mount. But we'll see if hopefully later we can get this back on. So now we're gonna be locating this small little trim here that's in between the radio and the steering wheel. We're gonna grab our prying tool and just work it. Now we can pull it back and we get access to the two seven millimeter uh, bolts that are holding the radio in place. Now that we do have all the bolts out, we can start by simply just grabbing this whole entire area, just pulling it out just like that I know it sounds a little crazy it might be a little intimidating but it just comes right off so now that we have full access to the head unit all we're gonna do is remove the seven millimeter bolts that are holding it that's one two three and four and then we're gonna pull it out Damn, what's going on here? This thing is like, this thing's on there. There we go. Damn. Little buddies, uh, oh, I see. It's got these little metal pins. There we go. We're gonna look, take a little peek back here. There we go. This one as well. Just like that. This one has it right here, boom. And this one has it right. Huh. All right, here we go. Now the last piece of the puzzle is to remove the climate control system. That way we can remove the small DC adapter and put our new USB. That's going to be a dual USB uh, cable for the Apple CarPlay and whatnot. All we're going to do is just grab this held by a couple clips. And I know it sounds scary, but it's really not. We're gonna reach back here and simply just remove all the connectors that are holding this in place. Now that we're back outside, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I removed the cigarette lighter, which I already did remove because it was a little hard to get it on camera. But you will have a small little tab here and a small little tab here that we're gonna be basically just pushing down and it's just gonna release it. So give you guys a little demonstration here. Put it back in place. We're gonna flip it around just like this and we're gonna be pushing down on this little tab here with I used a, a small little Allen wrench just push it down just like that and it's basically just gonna release it which is gonna allow you to pull it out and save it if you ever have to use it again so now that we removed the original uh, cigarette lighter we're gonna grab the provided USB that's a dual USB connector we're gonna feed it through and secure it in place.
Now the radio itself does come with an integrated microphone, but they also give you the option of installing an external mic that improves the clarity of your voice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install it. We're gonna tuck it behind this panel here, right behind the cluster, all the way in. This might take a little bit of time just because you have to figure out your way through. But just take your time, feed it through all the way in. And eventually, what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up right behind the radio, just like this. Now, as far as the extra wire goes, just going to make a little, little circle like this and uh, put a small little zip tie. It's actually a really big zip tie, but you guys get the idea. Just like that cut the excess off and uh, just tuck it in the back. So now the moment of truth, they say this kit is all plug and play. I do believe them, but once I plug everything in, then definitely uh, I'm gonna know for sure, for sure. So we're gonna start by plugging in the first connector. Here's one, man, and that satisfying click is always nice. Just like Stinger offered stated, it is all 100% plug and play. There's absolutely no way to mess it up just because every pin connector is different. Now, if you do want to go more into detail and you do want a specified install video where you can visually see every pin going in, Stinger offered does have a very detailed video. Uh, but for the most part, just on visuals here, you'll get an idea where everything goes. And I'm absolutely thrilled that we are almost done with the install just because I cannot wait to see what the finished product is actually going to look like. So now that I do have everything plugged in, I do want to just double check that everything works. So I'm going to grab my radio and I do want to apologize for the poor lighting. It just keeps getting brighter and brighter out here. But uh, we're going to plug this bad boy in. Plug the... 12, 12 pin connector, I think it's 12 or 6, I don't know. All right. And now we're gonna just go ahead and turn on the truck and see if we get anything. There we go, look at that. Boom. That's a good sign already. Now let's just make sure that uh, the radio works, the antenna works. This is basically what you want to do before you put everything back in. Just test everything out. Here we have a... Uh... There we go. Yep, so it looks like everything is working. That's a good sign. Now we can go ahead and just pretty much bolt everything up, button everything up, and uh, man, I'll show you guys exactly what this bad boy can do. Now all we're gonna do is slide the radio in place, position the brackets, and put the four bolts that we took out in the first place. And then after that, we're just gonna grab our whole entire panel and put it back. Now all we're gonna do is grab the whole entire radio, put it right on top, make sure it's all there. We're gonna push in and push up. Now all we have to do now is once we position the radio into place, remember we did have some bolts here that need to be fully tightened before uh, we installed the top portion of the bezel. So let's go ahead and do that. So now the last piece of the puzzle is to put the bezel that goes right on top. Just let it click into place. And there you go guys, we are all done. Look at that.
And I do want to apologize for the ghetto-ness with the shirts. The sun is absolutely just killing, killing it. I wanted to just get a little bit of shade and that way the visuals are all there. But this is pretty much it. We do have the main menu and uh, yeah, plenty of options here. Let's, uh, let's get the phone plugged in, get Apple CarPlay going. It's one of the biggest features that this, uh, that this uh, radio offers. Boom, right away. Shows, uh, shows the location. We can go to our music. Everything should be there. Damn, Bobby San Luis Miguel. And uh, the good thing about uh, having Apple CarPlay and having a radio like this is when you do have your stock radio, it's very limited when it comes down to um, the sound output that you're getting. Now with this one here, you do get a lot of different options. For example, you get the audio settings, you can balance everything, fade it, you get a crazy, crazy uh, equalizing uh, option. Crossovers are all there, you get time correction, and you also have the factory settings where you can actually move it but uh, for me, that's a big deal, especially when you do have a sound system on your vehicle. You want to make sure that it's sounding to the best, uh, pretty much sounding the best as possible. Now, you also have the options for all your apps. You know, if you have Gaia, if you have stuff like that, um, you can actually run it off uh, the system. And uh, let's see what else do we have here. We have your radio. Make sure it doesn't turn on because we don't want to get copyrighted. We got your radio, you have Bluetooth capability, you have a USB uh, option. So if you have a card with a USB drive that has a ton of music, you can do that too. XM Seller Radio, uh, Android Auto, which is big for the Android people out there, HDMI. Uh, you have cameras. Unfortunately, we don't have cameras just yet. We are yet to get them, but you have an option of having four cameras, which is crazy. Uh, you have the front, the rear, uh, the left and the right if you want to go off-roading. Perfect for that. Now we scroll down here, we also have a navigation option, which is still grayed out. We haven't picked up the navigation card just yet, but we need to wait for that to come in. But for the most part, this thing is solid. Aside from all the cool features and Apple CarPlay and the multiple cameras and all that, the fact that this bezel sits perfect and it looks like it's actually meant to be there. I think that's one of the biggest selling points that Stinger Offroad has definitely, definitely uh, executed with this radio. Now, if you were wondering if the Vector Offroad uh, phone mount and accessory mount fit with this setup, it fit absolutely perfect. It wasn't even a tight fit. It was a perfect, perfect fit. Now, aside from everything else, the install itself, I wanna rate it at a four out of 10. It takes about two hours with the filming. Yes, it might take a little longer, but for the most part, a really, really install and the outcome is absolutely great. Now, if you guys wanna check out this radio, you already know, I'll be putting everything down below in the description. Stinger Alfred has been kind enough to even give me a promo code to save you guys 10% off. No, I'm making absolutely no profit off these radios. So go on there, click on it, use the promo code, save 10% and upgrade your radio. Now, let me give you guys a little B-row of what this bad boy is all about.